<clears throat> hey yo, what's going on guys? Support Randy here back again with another video and you know today's a pretty serious video. I'm not very happy at all today. I haven't been happy at all this whole weekend because if you guys tell by the title of the video, uh, the sun's has just been, you know, pissing me off pretty much. And we're gonna start off with Eric Bledsoe because Eric Bledsoe you deserve better. I understand why you wanna trade your the Suns are bringing you down. This dude had the best season of his life last year. Uh, and he was healthy. He was healthy. He put up the best numbers of his life. And this year, the Suns are shutting him down. And it's terrible to watch. But Eric Bledsoe today went to the Suns' office and pretty much was like, trade me. They had He had asked to be traded in the beginning of the season, but the Suns didn't do anything. Now, uh, Bledsoe had to tweet out that he don't want to be here, pretty much. He tweeted out, I don't want to be here. And the Suns read that loud and clear. And as of today, the Suns are accepting trade offers from as of right now from the Knicks and the Bucks. So it's pretty sad to see because Eric Bledsoe is probably one of my second favorite player on the Suns, um, right behind Devin Booker. And it's sad to see because he's such a good player. He's in his prime. And I understand where he's coming from. He just wants to win. It's in that point of his career where he just wants to start winning. You know, he needs to start winning championships because he's not getting any younger. He's getting older. And he just wants to be in a winning atmosphere. And at the Suns, the Suns, let's just put it in the Suns perspective. And, I, and for everyone who doesn't think I'm still a Suns fan, I love the Suns to death. I'm always going to be a Suns fan, die hard. Because I can, I see what the Suns are building, and I want to be a part of that. But with the Suns front office, it's just they're not doing it. They're not getting it cut. Like right now, Eric Bledsoe wanted to be traded. We could have traded him to Cleveland and gotten Kyrie Irving, and we would have gave him Josh Jackson. I mean, granted that I love Josh Jackson and everything he's done for the Suns, but I'm saying we could have a Kyrie Irving, a guy who has a ring on our team right now, who can bring that mentality, who can bring that leadership, and you know, just build our team together because we're such a young core. And with Booker. Kyrie and all these other guys, you know, we could have built something. And if you guys look at the Suns now, we're not a bad team. We have so much fucking talent. It's not even, it's not even funny. Like Booker, Ulysses, T.J. Warren, uh, Dragon Bender, he's on the come up. I feel like, and I was playing. You know, all these guys are just good. Tyson Chandler, all these guys are good. It's just it's coming from the coaching staff, and they're finally doing something about it because Earl Watson actually got fired. So the Suns are actually looking for a new head coach. So this is this is actually resolved into our problems because. I, I I follow the Suns. I follow every single Suns player on Twitter, Instagram, and on the ones that have Snapchat, I follow them on Snapchat. And these dudes are good guys, and they just want to win. I've watched a lot of videos about them, the way they talk. They just want to win. They just want to win, you know. And they have that winning mentality. Most of these guys came from high school and college winning and then coming to the Suns and then losing. It's just terrible to see because these guys are winners, and they want to keep winning. But in the Suns, they're just holding them back. And if you look at the Suns right now, you're probably like, they're locking stock of the league, and they really are because everyone's making memes about us. We're the first team in NBA history to lose our three games by, um, well, the second game, uh, we did a, we put up a, a fight against LA, which I, I was proud of that. It was a good game to watch, you know, watching Devin Booker versus Lonzo Ball was probably like the highlight of my whole year because that's what I wanted to see. And, um, you know, just seeing the Suns now, they didn't, they lost our, we lost our first game by 48, 48 points. How do you do that? 48 points in our first game at home? Are you kidding me right now? When I saw that game, I was baffled because it was joke rule. Like, it was a joke, like, the way the Suns were playing. We came back the second game. We still lost, but we actually had some fire. Come back to the third game when we still lost. We, we still lost by over 40. All right? The Suns are just not doing it, and it's pissing me off because we're a good team, and I didn't pick this team for us to lose. You know, I know, understand that I picked this team to build in the future, but... We're not even going any forward, we're going backwards, it's annoying, and Eric Bledsoe, I understand where you're coming, if you want to leave, leave, because I mean, the Suns haven't done anything to keep you around, or keep you happy, pretty much, we just, we have the same players every single year, the Suns this offseason didn't make any moves, this is the Suns, they just sat there and just watched everyone make moves, all these superstars going to different teams, and the Suns didn't want to get any action, because, uh, just, you know, the Suns are just not, I guess they don't want to win, you know, the Suns are turning into a losing culture, and it's annoying because I love the Suns. I love every single player on the Suns, you know? Like, it's a good team. And just seeing that turning into a losing culture is just terrible, and I don't want to be a part of that. This is how it's going to be, to be honest, but um, it's just getting harder and harder and harder for me to, like, want to be a Suns fan, but they need to change, and hopefully with this changing in the coaching, we could, you know, maybe reboot. I don't know. I mean, the Suns have been tanking every year to get good draft picks, you know, obviously we're going to be good eventually, but when you start giving away veteran players that know what they're doing and put up points and lead this team, then you guys are pretty much uh, 
um, tanking yourselves? Like you guys are like they just I guess I don't know what they want. I guess they just want a LeBron James to come out of the draft. Which matter of fact, there's only one LeBron James, and he plays for Cleveland. There's no other going to be no other LeBron James. So I don't know what the Suns are thinking, but it's just pissing me off because the Suns are a good player, and Eric Bledsoe, he's my point guard. I've always seen him as my point guard, and now he's going to get traded. So it's going to piss me off, but Eric Bledsoe, I love you, man. I love you. <laughs> like, there's no more because you're a good guy. He puts up numbers. Probably the most underrated point guard there is. If if Let me tell you how unrated Eric Bledsoe is. Eric Bledsoe was on, like, say, the Cavs, the, the, the Rockets, the Warriors. His name would be in the news. A lot more, I'm telling you that. The only reason that his name's not on the news is because he plays for the Phoenix Suns and we always lose. So that's why, you know, how are you going to put up 30 and still lose? You know, you're not going to get on ESPN for that. So I understand where Eric Bledsoe's coming in. It's just it's a pain to see. The only people that the Suns have to blame is themselves. That's all I have to say.